At DMC, actually, was not the first name we went under. We were called ground handlers. And it's actually very interesting because they, when the industry started, we did ladies programs because there were no women executives. So these were the ladies that accompanied gentlemen to conventions, and it was more fashion tours and ladies programs. And then over the years, it evolved in terms of, it was now, there were women executives, so we had guests or spouses who were gentlemen, and sometimes they weren't always spouses, and sometimes it wasn't always heterosexual, and it became partner program, etc. So I've been actually fascinated with the whole evolution. Over the years, the business has grown dramatically, and like, the CMP, there's now a DMCP, which is a destination management certified professional because anyone can hang out their shingle, but how do you determine who's a qualified person? So as the industry has evolved, our services have evolved, and it's been a very exciting time to watch this happen. Um, I, uh, it's, it's a situation where you learn every day. Even after all these years, there isn't a day goes by that I haven't learned something new. First of all, we're a one-stop shopping, which means we do absolutely everything. And also, we're, we're the eyes and the ears of the client. So for instance, one time we had booked a dinner theater show, and it was obviously booked well in advance. I saw it opening night. It was totally wrong for the client. So I immediately um, gathered my resources, formatted another program, called the client and said, you would not be happy with this program. I already had the alternative and we did the alternative program. With hotels, things changing, restaurants, we are the eyes and the ears of the person locally. The other thing is that it actually saves a lot of time and resources. For me to call up a piano player, it takes two seconds. For a client to research it. And for one program, which was a sit down dinner for 4,000 people, we had 21 vendors. But the client only received one invoice, all marked out and all clearly indicating. So they just had the time to approve, check their cost, their budget against the final invoice from us as opposed to 21 different invoices. Plus, they're dealing with one central source and we, we make sure all the pieces of the puzzle fit. The other thing is we're a big volume buyer. A client comes in once we have a different relationship with the suppliers. One hospital, for instance, did a lot of work with an AV company. They needed something done specially at the hospital. The AV company did the draping for nothing. And we get preferred prices because we are a volume buyer. They need to keep us happy and they need to keep us involved in the relationship. I think the biggest challenge for DMC is there are planners out there who really don't understand the roles and responsibilities of a DMC or a meeting and event planner. They're not quite sure of how the relationship works, what we provide, why we're needed. Um, we're not needed all the time. Um, I'm not saying we are, but it's just what the benefits are, but it's mostly the roles and responsibilities and the fact that it is a big puzzle and only knowing part of the information doesn't allow us to do our very best job. Holding back information does not do the planner any good. It's sharing of information. I ask all kinds of questions. If you've done this event before, what have you done? What's worked? Why has it worked? Why has something not worked? So in other words, if they've been on a cruise last year, for instance, I'm not going to put them on a cruise ship this year because I want to give them a new experience. Certainly, uh, references are key, but I find it interesting that planners often only ask for references from clients. They should ask them from vendors. Because if you have a good relationship with your vendors, then that is going to reflect on your program. So it's not only one-sided, it's two-sided. And I think planners, when they're looking for a DMC, should do as much, much investigation as possible. Because again, there is no chance to get it better. And sometimes when you're referred business from a, from a location, there may be another, there may be, shall we say, another motive behind it. So make sure that the motives are pure.